Todd here with the Elick Repeater Traps. This video we're going to just kind of go over the basic operation, the do's and don'ts, and uh, just functions of the trap here. So I'm going to take this top off to show you inside of here a little bit better. Um, the lid comes off, so there's four screws in right here. This panel comes off. Back in here are adjustments for the strike rod. You can move that strike rod in or out farther. Um, it's set, we set it, it's usually good. Um, if you have issues though, we can walk you through that if you give us a holler. So we take the top off here. The door should be locked all the time until they step on this and trip it. When they step on that and trip it, the door will open, it'll come back closed on its own. It takes a certain amount of weight to, to make all this happen and everything to close up. Um, one thing I'm seeing in some videos guys are sending me is the bait spills over out of the hopper and it's it's all setting down on here. If that happens, that bait will hold that thing open. So as your rat comes along and steps on here, it's going to dump him in immediately. Um, it won't dump him in, he's going to jump out because he's going to get halfway down, he's going to get scared, he's going to run away. So that the bait has to be somewhat cleared off of here to keep this thing so it's functioning and not all the way trip down all the time. Just go in there and sweep that or you can grab your trap and just tip it up and you're in it that way however but that thing has got to be able to trip on its own. That is one problem I'm seeing in a lot of uh, feedback I'm getting from some customers here. On the back here we have a set screw. This set screw is to take some of the play out Without this set screw in there, there's play right here. We've seen in videos that some of the older, more mature rats are walking down this and they get about right there and it tips down on them so they turn around and they scurry out of there, they're gone. You're not going to get them back in there again. Um, so the set screw, we're able to screw it down and we're able to take some of the play out of that. You want a little bit, otherwise it will not latch. But that is, the, that is the purpose of this set screw back here. Um, adjusting the latch in and out. There's a carriage bolt right here. You loosen that carriage bolt up. If it's going down on its own and it got banged up in shipping, which happens once in a while, and this thing won't latch at all, typically there's something back here on this, this wedge that got thrown around or, or uh, is catching up and binding on these here. So. Anyway, like I said, if that happens, get on the website there and get my number and give me a call and we'll walk you through it and get you up and going. Um, put the top back on here. Screw that back on. and The front of it, we adapted this. We made this four and a half inches longer. Rats were going in there and some of the smaller, more agile rats, um, the the juveniles are able to jump back out of this trap. So by putting this front on here, when it, when it trips, it'll actually close this off to the point. It'll make it very hard for them to jump back out of that trap before it dumps them. Um, that is the purpose of extending this. I do have a kit made that will bolt into the existing holes if you ordered a trap earlier and it is not long like this. Um, if that's a concern, this measures 22 and a half inches and the old style measures 18 inches so we extended it four and a half inches the adaption if you have this longer trap it will not fit on this longer trap because it's already there so if that's an issue and you think you have an issue there give me a call again on the website or shoot me an email and uh, we'll do everything we can here to, to get you guys catching as many rats as we can possibly get rid of